Pisces, welcome to your first through the 15th of July tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you would um, consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings uh, for free, so that's really cool. So let's get started. What is the central theme of Pisces reading today? What is the central theme of Pisces reading today? One card for the, ooh. It says it's giving me two cards. Um, and they're both chakra cards. So the first card that we have is the third chakra, Archangel Shamiel. So that would be our solar plexus. That's our motivation and willpower. So we're, we're having issues with our motivation and willpower and also our fourth chakra, which would be our heart chakra. And this is uh, Archangel, uh, Archangel Shamiel and Raphael. So we need to work on our heart and our motivation. So I know that um, being a Pisces, Sun, Ascendant, Venus and Mars myself, we're going, we're still recovering from heartbreak, from former heartbreak. Um, so that makes sense that we would get the fourth chakra, the Archangel Raphael. Um, that would definitely make sense. So eat a lot of leafy greens, uh, green food in general. Get out in nature, especially with the third chakra, our solar plexus, lemons, ginger, uh, living water in the morning, getting out in the sun, um, motivation. Those are some things that you can do to heal those. Okay, so what's on Pisces' mind? Three cards for what's on Pisces' mind. So the first card is the chariot and it's in the river. So when the chariot reverses, there's a loss of control. There's a lack of self-discipline here. There's a loss of direction. There could be some emotional outbursts happening the first through the 15th, especially with us Pisces, but you know we're just like a bottle of emotions. Uh, so there might be some outbursts with this. Um, you feel like you're just giving up, letting go. There could be car problems, so your car might be on your mind here. Um, you could be wearing a mask to hide your emotions, overreacting, feeling overwhelmed. Your relationships might be stuck in a rut here with the chariot reversed. Um, it could also be referring to a cancer, so you might be thinking about a cancer person. I know I have a cancer from the past that I've been really worried about. Um, he's not doing very well. I saw him walking the other day and, oh, he's doing some something and he looks scary like he's not the person that I dated 12 years ago um, yeah he's scary looking what else is going on Pisces mind what else is going on Pisces mind So we have the Three of Cups reversed. You may be thinking about past betrayal, um, a third party. It, it could be um, somebody that cheated on you in the past or um, friends, like a, a click mentality that just went awry. The Three of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And Tens are all about completions and Swords are all about hard lessons. When the Ten of Swords re reverses, it's actually really good. It's a release from pain. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's brand new beginnings here. So instead of a completion ending, you're thinking about brand new be beginnings and you're releasing pain from an old I'm feeling, I feel like this is something that's old, like an old betrayal, an old, um, 
when you were cheated on in the past. When you were cheated on in the past. Um, and you're, you're letting things go. I feel like you're letting things go now. You've healed. You've went through the hurt. You've felt it completely and you're just letting it go. Mentally. Mentally, that's what I see. And I, I have the cards of um, Cancer and Gemini. And this could just be the time period because that's the seasons that we're, we're in current. Well, we just left Gemini season. We're currently in Cancer season. We're entering Leo. So, what's going on in Pisces family and home life? Three cards for Pisces family and home life. Three cards for Pisces family and home life. Okay, so I have the Queen of Swords and she's in the upright. So when the Queen of Swords is in the upright, um, you're taking feelings into consideration when making decisions. You're being fair in the situation. You're being upfront in dealings with others. You're facing the truth no matter how painful it is. You're keeping a clear head here. You're finding humor in bad situations. You're being free. You're being single. You're being independent. You tell it as you see it. You're being sharp, um, sophisticated, forthright and direct, upfront, even if the truth is painful. Um, you believe in constructive criticism in your family and home life with the Queen of Swords. Uh, she does have a sharp tongue. She can be called the Ice Queen. Um, she's the boss. She She's intelligent. Um, she's clarity of thought. She's a problem solver and organizer. And she's also a Gemini. What else is going on in Pisces family and home life? What else is going on in Pisces family and home life? What else is going on in Pisces family? Okay, so I have the two of swords in the upright. Um, so we could be dealing with some sort of air sign. The Two of Swords is difficult choices, uh, painful decisions, um, refusing to take sides, being in denial, turning a blind eye. Um, this has that Libra energy attached to it, so it's very, it's the winds of change. It's very diplomatic, fair, partner and other oriented, um, adaptable, it has a little bit of this romantic aesthetic to it. Um, all about communication, being harmonious, appreciating arts and liking finer things. What else is going on in Pisces family and home life? Alright, so I have temperance. So this is Gemini. This, or I'm sorry, this is Sagittarius. This is the card of Sagittarius. This is a major arcana card, so it's a major life event. And it's the calm after the storm. It's rebalancing yourself. There's travel, learning, teaching, going to counseling, being a healer. Finding balance, perfect timing, light at the end of the tunnel, peace, tranquility, healing emotions, forgiveness, um, entering a mature relationship, looking towards the future, leaving all the emotions from the past behind, and transitioning into a more ambitious, aggressive, enthusiastic future. Give me three cards for Pisces, romantic and social life. Three cards for Pisces, romantic and social life. All right, so I have the High Priestess. 
So with the High Priestess, there's um, listening to your subconscious, deep feelings, intuition. This could be a period of withdrawal, time alone, calm, following your own path. Um, you need to go a little bit deeper for answers. Not everything is as obvious as it seems at first glance. There's secrets here. There's potential. It's not a time for action. It's a time to retreat and reflect. Um, the High Priestess is the card of Pisces. And the High Priestess stands between two pillars. Um, one's marked B and one's marked J for Boaz and Hakim, which means strength and unity. She holds the Torah, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. She has the moon at her feet, which means that she's in contr full control of her emotions. Um, in this card, the moon isn't at her feet, it's water, and water represents emotion, so it means the same thing. But that would be the traditional right or weight um, description. And she's very balanced. She's all about balance in the upright, in the reverse system. What else is going on in Pisces' romantic and social life? What else is two cards? Okay, so I have the Four of Swords. So again, we, we have a period of rest. So with the High Priestess, that's all about rest and digging into your subconscious mind. Um, when we have the Four of Swords, that's also about rest. There's a mental overload, a need for retreat, um, finding it hard to cope with things, going through a breakdown. This, again, is Libra energy. Um, so there could have been, oh... Yeah, there could have been a Libra in our past that really, really hurt us. Um, and we're just taking time out to retreat, to dig in, dig, dig deep into our mind. Uh, mine happened like 15 years ago, and it was very traumatic. Um, he was a diagnosed sociopath. He was actually diagnosed in prison. He did horrible, horrible things. It's not the story that I put out. Um, the one that I put out is my more current narcissist. This, he was an actual, like, criminally insane uh, person. And he was a Libra and with a Cancer moon. So, wow, that's the totally, whoa. Well, and I have been, like, doing a lot of um, affirmations and retreating and, uh, doing inner child work and digging into my subconscious mind to remove him and get him out. Whoa, and he actually left me for a Sagittarius, so that totally resonates with me. I don't know about y'all. Whoa, that was, <laughs> that was too dead on. Okay, um, all right, and it's bringing out two more cards for romantic and relationship and the first is the King of Cups in the reverse. So when the King of Cups reverses, you're being overly emotional, kind of moody, depressed. Um, this could be a violence, a con man, unloving. Um, there could be addictions here, rape, a con man. Uh, he, he is, uh, he, this is a card for narcissism. And this would be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And then we have the Page of Pentacles in the upright. So the Page of Pentacles in the upright is Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And this is news of money, a loan application. Um, there's a solid grounded start here. Uh, this is a very immature energy. It's, it's a child. 
but it's a student and this person studies and sets goals, is committed and loyal to the goals. Um, more about money, but it can also be about relationships as well. But it, what I'm seeing is taking time out to heal from this narcissist, from this past abusive relationship um, that was emotionally abusive and getting getting yourself in order so then there is this new start it's a solid solid start it it's an earth start earth doesn't like change earth is all about routine earth is practical grounded dependable it doesn't take risks it's um responsible reliable this is a person that you can count on it is immature but we had a lot to go through and you have to start somewhere. You have to be the page before you can be the king. So we're starting somewhere and we're starting at the page and we're developing a sense of self here. With this card, we're developing a sense of self. We're conceiving ideas. We're a student, we're learning and we're able to manifest with this card. This is manifestation. Thinking long term instead of just short term play. So we're thinking of long term relationships, long term friends. We're setting goals. We're thinking productively here. We're taking calculated risks with this card. So we're taking time. We're developing our intuition. We're resting. We're recovering from a past abusive relationship. Um, there could have actually even been rape here. Because when the King of Cups reverses, it can indicate rape. And we're, we're healing. And look at how healthy she looks. Doesn't that look like healing? It just radiates health and healing. And we do. We, we ultimately heal. We need this time right now to, to finally heal. There is massive past betrayal. What steps can help Pisces along on this healing journey? Three cards for what steps they're going to... Okay, so there's one, two... So we have the Emperor, we have the World Reverse, so two major life events. Right. One more card for what's going to help Pisces heal. Right, two. Two cards. So the five... Ooh. Three... Okay. Well, it's definitely got, okay, to help us heal, we have quite a few cards here. Um, so I'm going to go one by one. So the first thing we have is the Emperor, and the Emperor is a major life event. Uh, the Emperor is using facts. There's scientific evidence, controlling your emotions here, uh, being a leader, being accountable, being a decision maker, mastering yourself your trade, being a provider, a defender, a protector. Uh, this is the card of Aries. This is rising to a challenge. This is ambition. This is I am me, being self-aware, self-assertive, strong, a self-starter, a go-getter, taking the initiative, being energetic, active, um, It's a very strong card, strong masculine card. And then we have the world in the reverse. So um, you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world. You lack closure here. And you need to understand that. You lack closure. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You lack closure. But you understand that. So this is the tower and it's in the reverse. So when the tower reverses, you're rebuilding your life. You're salvaging. Um, you were tipped off. You avoided disaster, and now you're you're rebuilding and you're salvaging. We have the five of cups. So this is sadness, loss, regret, feeling cut off from life. This is the card of Scorpio. It's a very passionate sexual energy. And then we have the Five of Wands. So this is conflict avoidance, agreeing to disagree. This is the card of Leo. 
So in the time of Leah, you might not want to get into any fights. You might, you might want to just avoid that. So what I'm seeing is you need to develop a sense of self. You need to be a go-getter. You need to go get what you want instead of just sitting there hoping and wishing for it. Um, you need to let things go and that will cause avoiding disaster. Yeah, you're sad. You need to accept and feel those emotions and heal them and that's why you have this time of rest and retreat. And avoid conflicts. You, you don't need to be fighting right now. There's nothing to be fighting about. All right, financially, three cards for Pisces, please. Financially, three cards for Pisces, please. What's going on in Pisces finances? The first through the 15th. Three cards for Pisces finances, please. Three cards for Pisces finances, please. Three cards for Pisces finances, please. Okay, so I have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. So this is Capricorn energy, which is really good for money. It's conservative. It's ambitious. It's responsible. It's reliable. It's disciplined. It is a major life life event. It is um, temptation and addictions. Uh, there is abuse here. A disregard for consequences. There's materialism, false promises. Um, there could be prostitution. But it is a card of money. There could be drugs. What else is going on in Pisces finances? What else is going on in Pisces finances? Right, so I have the Eight of Cups. So that is searching for inner happiness leaving an, an emotionally unfulfilling situation, you're walking away from something, you're abandoning, uh, you may be traveling or taking a break. What else is going on? And uh, You're leaving a lot of money behind and you're traveling off to a new venture, something that's more emotionally fulfilling. Right. And it has three cards for me. Right, so I have the Eight of Swords. So this is um, frustration, a bad attitude, um, not being able to see a way out, backed into a corner, feeling victimized, ignoring advice. This is a part of Gemini. It's a self-contained prison. Then I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is mental confusion, being clueless, chaos, out of control, um, temper tantrums, manipulation, there could be criminal activities going on financially. And then I have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is being hypocritical, being a perfectionist, um, severe ne neglect, um, being bitter, malicious, nasty, cruel. So I see financially currently there could be some massive manipulation. There could be some financial abuse here. Being controlled by money. Uh, being controlled by by greed, by materialism. Um, and you're le I see you leaving it all behind. You're, you're just leaving it all behind and you're setting off to something more emotional. And you feel blocked. You feel in prison. You feel like you have all these painful lessons around you. And then you move fast into confusion, into chaos. Uh, I, I see that you, you, you take a leap. Um, you, there, there could be some uh, verbal abuse here. There could also be um, someone's being malicious, someone's being nasty, someone's being cruel. And the upright, the I mean, the queen of.
Queen of Swords is the boss. So there's a boss being verbally abusive to you. And you're fighting. I see fighting. You feel trapped. You feel stagnant. You feel backed into a corner. Whenever something's backed in the corner, it goes, Rawr! it comes out and it starts fighting. And that's what I see is happening here. I see I see a fight here. There, there's definitely, and there could be a fight with the boss. I see, I see that there could definitely be a fight with the boss. So what's going on in um, Pisces' career and life purpose? Career and life purpose. Three cards for Pisces' career and life purpose. So in your career, you have the Queen of Cups in the upright. Um, so this would be developing your psychic abilities, opening up your heart to love, being a peacemaker, being highly artistic, imaginative, and creative, totally absorbed in your creation. Um, you're detaching from reality here. Being compassionate quiet Pentacles in the upright, so there's teamwork here, gaining qualification, building skills, not cutting corners. And then I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So there, there's self protection here. I'm seeing self protection. I see that you're working really hard. Um, being very emotionally involved in your career, in your creation, working really hard on it, and holding on to it really tight with all of your might. Well, Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. That was your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings as well as meditation videos self-help videos such as recovering from narcissistic abuse. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.